Hi everyone, Pilot Ems here. So today I want to do a short video for you explaining all about pitch, roll and yaw. So um, let's start off. I have got this beautiful aircraft which was actually gifted to me from the aircraft model store. So if you're interested in finding aircraft models, go and check them out. I'll put a link below in the video so that you can go and have a look over there. So I'm really, really pleased with this. I actually shed a tear when I opened it because it means so much to me to be able to have this. So if we talk about pitch, roll and yaw then, so the first one is obviously pitch let's talk about that so pitch is actually where the aircraft moves either up or down so what it's doing is rotating around a horizontal axis here so that's what it's doing it's rotating around that horizontal axis there so the way that we pitch the aircraft is by we have a control column in the flight deck you might hear it called a yoke in some aircraft it might be called a side stick um, but it'll be the same motion that you'll do on those so if we pull the control column towards us the aircraft will pitch up and if we push it away from us the aircraft will pitch down so the aerofoil surface that we actually use to do this is the elevators which are located on the tailplane here so what happens is if we push the control column forward that means that we want the aircraft to go down and the way that we do that is because it's rotating around that horizontal axis that we talked about what's going to have to happen is that to get it to go down we need to have more lift under the tailplane and the way that we create more lift is by the elevators going down so the elevators will actually go down when we push the control column forward and that's how it will create more lift at the back which will pitch the aircraft forwards to go down so the next one is roll and the way that we talk about roll is another horizontal axis but down the length of the fuselage so roll is to the left and to the right going like this so the way that we um, do that on the flight deck is again using the control column we'll either turn it to the left or we turn it to the right so that's how we will turn to the left and to the right is um, using again the control column turning it to the left or the right the aerofoil surface that we use to turn this is called the ailerons and they're actually located on the wings themselves normally on the outer edge of the wings for larger aircraft they might have more than one um, but for this aircraft we've just got that one there so the way that this works is that if I want to turn to the left let's say um, so we're going to be banking to the left we call it banking to the left we're going to roll to the left um, so we need to have more lift on this wing than we have got on this wing so what happens is this aileron will come down and this aileron will go up so there'll be less lift on this side and more lift on this side which will roll us to the left and conversely the same for going to the right as well so when we're talking about your we're actually talking about the axis it's a vertical axis going through the center of the aircraft and it's when the aircraft twists like this so as opposed to roll is when you're rolling like that so this yaw is going to the left and to the right like this okay down through this vertical axis through here um, so the way that we control the yaw in the flight deck is actually through our rudder pedals so through our feet um, so we can push them to the left and push them to the right and what we've got is a big rudder that we control on the tailplane of the aircraft here. So again, if we are wanting to turn the aircraft, let's say, to the right, um, what we will do is we'll um, move our right foot, so push the right rudder pedal to the right. And what that does is, if you think about it, we need to, again, this is an aerofoil surface at the back here, even the rudder is an aerofoil surface. We need to create more lift pushing this way. And the way that we do that is the rudder will actually come over to the right. So I don't know if you can, I'll try and <laughs> show you a bit closer here. So imagine the rudder, it's going to move, the, the, the rear of it here will move to the right so when it moves over to the right it creates more lift on this side which will then yaw the aircraft in that direction so that's how it works so that's pitch roll and yaw basically shown here on my beautiful dash eight so if you've enjoyed this video definitely drop me a note below if you've got any questions just again drop them below let me know what they are and i'll definitely speak to you all very soon take care